Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and we're looking at the remains of my Myers lemon here, which has uh, been destroyed completely by the cold. Um, I think it's possible that it might be alive right at the very base, and I'm not sure. I never did check whether it was a grafted plant or grown from cuttings. If it is grafted, it's probably grafted, I suspect. Let me have a look. If it's grafted, I think it is grafted. It looks to me as if it's grafted right at the base there. And it does look as if there's some green stems above it. So what I decided to do, although it's only March and we've got more cold weather coming, I've decided to trim off most of the, uh, let me hold it by the hand, I've decided I might as well trim off the growth that's probably likely to be dead, you can see there's a little bit of green there on that stem, which you probably can't see on video, so I think to be honest, I might as well take off most of the obviously dead growth, because it's going to be easier to carry on covering it. I think there's a chance that it's going to come back from I think there's a chance that some of this growth right at the base looks like it's still green so I think if I take off the dead growth it's going to make it easy for me to protect the rest of it it's going to take it a long time if it grows back to recover to the state it was it's probably going to be another I'd hazard a guess it's going to be another two or three years before it gets back to where it was. So this might look as if I'm being very harsh, but to be honest, all the growth that you can see at the top here is totally dead. So there's not really much point leaving it. However, it does look as if the very, very base of it is still alive down here this looks quite green so as long as I protect that area citrus can come back quite well from dead growth I'm gonna just trim this Daphne away from it as well to allow as much light as possible into the citrus in the hope let's change hands again obviously I'm hoping that it might come back. It, there's definitely, there's no doubt about it. There's definitely some, uh, definitely some green right back at the bottom. So at least I can get a good. I'm supposed to have some very cold weather again coming this week, early in March. So um, it'd be nice if I can save the remains of my Myers lemon. I'll have to watch for snails if it does start to shoot out because they love the young uh, growth unfortunately on these uh, lemon plants the snails do in my garden anyway um, it's not the only thing that I'm going to have to deal with the uh, as you can probably see my Chilean guava is looks totally dead behind it and it's been killed right back to the base so I'm going to cut that back heavily um, later on I'm not going to do it today because I want to go and watch the Grand Prix but that has dealt with most of the stems on my Myers lemon. Let's take that one off the top. I've really basically removed most of it, but that's going to make it very easy now for me to... Uh, it's going to make it very easy for me to put a double layer of onto... Uh, to the lemon so if we do get any more cold weather I can at least easily protect it until the end of March beginning of April and then we'll just see if anything at all shoots out which obviously does I'll be showing you uh, showing you on videos a little bit later in the year hopefully early summer we will see what happens but um certainly it's grafted no doubt the grafted section the, the rootstock would grow back but i don't know that's probably going to be a poncerous or something similar which i don't want so i'm just hoping there's enough left of the lemon to survive anyway thanks for watching that short video i much appreciate it um please
give me a thumbs up you're welcome to share the video and that's my drastic pruning method to try and uh, revitalize the plant please subscribe to my channel remember to click on the bell if you like updates on new videos when they come out catch up with you all soon Brett out for now